Good morning. Well, I want to carry on for a moment at this time and think about Jesus saying, I am the true vine and you are the branches, because I think it is very important. Because we don't actually see it, we don't actually understand it. Let's go forward again in time to the man Saul. Saul was a man trained to be a Pharisee of the Pharisees. He was strict and he was enthusiastic and he was not going to allow this new wave to take over. He was not going to allow people to contaminate Judaism with these strange new ideas about this Mashiach, this Messiah called Yeshua or Jesus, who had raised, been raised from the dead. And he went from house to house, and where he found people who were working this way, he arrested them. He put them in prison. He said, I will stop you from doing this. And he was so enthusiastic that he, he said to the high priest, give me letters of authority. I'm going to travel to Damascus because some of these people have got out of Jerusalem. Some of them have gone away. Some of them are in Damascus. The church is growing there. I am, will go to Damascus. And because they are Jews and because they're part of this particular society, give me the authority to arrest them even there and bring them back so that they can be punished for this heresy. And off he went on his journey. He was just approaching Damascus when suddenly there was a flash of light around him and the people around him as well were thrown to the ground. They couldn't see anybody and they couldn't hear anything, but they knew something strange was happening. And suddenly from the middle of the light comes the voice, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul said, who are you, Lord? Who are you? He said, I am Yeshua. I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. You see, Saul had never met Jesus. He had only attacked Christians. But as Jesus spoke to him, he said, you are persecuting me. As you attack these Christians, you are attacking me. Remember that, because it's important. Not only because it doesn't say, it says to you, don't attack your brothers and sisters in Christ. Because remember that, high priestly prayer that Jesus prayed while in the upper room, that my people should be one, even as we are one, Father, you in me and I in you. We are one. It's, but it's more than that, because if we attack our brothers and sisters, then literally we are attacking Jesus. But the other side of the coin is, if we bless our brothers and sisters, then we are blessing Jesus because he is the whole vine. He is the branches and the trunk. And he wants us to know that we are one with him. Now, there's also a warning here, a warning. Because Jesus says, when the branches are fruitful, you see, the trunk doesn't really bear fruit. It's the branches that bear fruit. The, the, it's right at the end of the branches. That's where the, the flowers come. That's where the grapes come. He says, if a, a branch does not bear fruit, the father will just cut it out. Cut it out from the vine. And people get very worried about this. They say, well, does that mean that we can lose our salvation? No, it's not. It's what every vine dresser knows. When he comes to the vine at the beginning of the year, he cuts back all the branches. He cuts them back to the point where they can be healthy and grow again. And if you want to be a guarantee that you had, all that your, of your life is within the framework of what God wants, then what I say to you simply is this. You go out today and you pray for somebody. You go out today and you minister to somebody. You go out today and you bless somebody. You go, look at your life today and you forgive somebody. And do you know what's happening? The power of Jesus is flowing right into today. You see, the only bit that's going to be cut out is the part that's not bearing fruit. Well, if you're doing all these things, forgiving and blessing and, and helping your people around you and ministering, then that part of the branch is alive. It's when it stops doing this that the, the Father will quite simply cut it back to the last point where it was bearing fruit. So if you can go out today and bless somebody, the father will say, that branch is still bearing fruit. 
I will not cut it back past that point. Because if I cut it back past that point, that blessing will be lost. So I'll cut it back to the last point where the person ministered, the last point where they forgave, the last point where they prayed, the last point where they blessed, the last point where they were active. Do you want to be sure that you're in the vine? If you have stopped doing or any of these things, yes, the Father may cut you back. He'll only cut you back to the point where you cease to be effective, where you were last effective, rather. He'll cut you back to the past where you were last effective. So enable him to be in your life, and that is how he's going to bless you. Jesus is the true vine. You and I, where are we the branches? And he's put us into the world that we may bear fruit, and fruit that will last. Fruit that will last. See, when you forgive somebody, that person is forgiven. When you bless somebody, that person is blessed. When you speak to somebody, help somebody, be with somebody, give to somebody, that is a blessing which cannot be taken away. That is the point of life. And that is where God wants to bless and release his power. Amen.